What's happening guys? Uh, just wanted to give you a quick update. Um, fired this up the other day and I got the old Tweety Birds. Um, you know, I thought maybe I'd get lucky and it was just a squeaky belt or tensioner that needed replaced, but the harmonic balancer is wobbling. So I actually didn't think that was that big of a deal. I have one and um, uh, I don't know where it's sitting, sitting around here somewhere. I bought a power bond just in case it ever happened. But I'll be honest with you. If I'm going to rip or move the steering, the radiator, and, and tear into this thing, I, I'm going to make it worth it. So, um, you know, there is that rabbit hole, and I went down it. And so we are getting some pretty big upgrades. So, first thing, I bought the Summit 25% uh, underdrive pulley, and I've pretty much committed to not putting a supercharger on this. Uh, that was the original plan, was the one day put a blower on it, but the more and more I drive it, uh, the more I don't really need it, um, but there's more because, you know, just like Billy Mays, there's more. Um, so I bought, uh, the underdrive pulley. I bought, cause I'm going to be in there, a BTR stage three cam, their lifter, or no, I didn't get lifters. I got push rods, um, the, the Tronion V2 kit, all the seals, the tools, everything. I'm going to teach myself how to put a, a cam in this. I've never done one in a, uh, an LS1. I've done them in Jeeps before, but never aftermarket, just, you know, stock replacements on rebuilds. So, you know, you go down the rabbit hole. You're like, all right, well, you know, now i got to figure out a tune. Well, there's some local tuners, so I may have that done. Uh, on the other hand, I may just um, borrow my buddy's HP tuner, buy some credits, and start learning. I, I It would be all, all ears if anybody knows any groups that help with learning how to tune and street tune. Um, I joined a couple Facebook groups and I'm going to start researching and, um, I got a couple of weeks before that cam is going to be installed from me, you know, before I can get around to installing it. Uh, we got a family vacation coming up and stuff, but, uh, so anyway, so cam, uh, did the underdrive pulley and then I'm like, well, hell, I'm going to need a clutch. So I'm figuring out which clutch I'm going to do now. I'm looking at the Ram, maybe a twin disc, uh, just because I guess there's some deals that happen now and then. And, um, We'll, we'll see. It's either going to be a twin disc or just like a stage one or two single disc. I don't need anything crazy. I'm not going, you know, it should be like 415, 420 to the wheels with these heads. Um, you know, that's that's optimistic depending on the dyno. Most guys are saying like 410 or so. Uh, we'll see. So uh, I may teach myself how to tune, which I will obviously update on. And I figured, well, the, the torque tube's out, so I'll rebuild that. So I went ahead and I ordered the BMW couplers. I'm going to check them out. I think they're the same as, as the GM ones. They sure look the same from the comparisons I've seen. Uh, and I ordered the uh, bearings for the torque tube. And, well, the torque tube in rear end's out. So, American, which is how he spells it. It starts with an M. Uh, performance parts. Uh, he's an hour south of Cincinnati. He's building me a three-rib diff in the rear with uh, 410 gears because I like to party. And, um, it's basically a level two RPM build where, you know, all C6Z internals, all new clutches, all new seals, uh, sandblasted painted. So it'll have a, uh, a 410 built rear end in it. Um, it's going to have a rebuilt torque tube, a new clutch. Oh, I'm going to do an 18 pound flywheel. I'm going to go ahead and do the light and flywheel because again, I like the, I like the party. Right. Um, and then with the underdrive pulley, the lighter flywheel, the lower gears, this thing should be uh, a bit of a handful. Um, it should be fun. So uh, that's where we're at. We got some big stuff coming up here. Uh, I went ahead. I'm supposed to have the cam and everything on Friday, but um, I leave on Saturday for Rocks for Roses, which is a, a Jeep event for cystic fibrosis raising money. Uh, I started it as Amelia's Angels and gave it to this awesome girl, Caitlin, who took over. And uh, and um, yeah, so we're busy this weekend. And then next week, we're going to Pigeon Forge for a family vacation. So Hopefully, uh, in about two weeks, I'll rip the uh, basically everything out of this, and I'm going to start on that, and it'll be the next phase of this build. Hoping it only takes me about a month. I want to. I still want to be driving this in August. You know, I don't want to lose more than you know middle of August. I want to be ripping around in it because that's prime driving season for this. So anyway, that's the update on the uh, Corvette and the performance parts I got coming up. So it's kind of a boring video, but uh, holy moly, today um, I spent some money today. So. All right. Hope you guys have a good day. See ya.